In college, I took a year of ceramics courses, and I was getting really into ceramics. I was in there a lot. And I had a friend who did glass, and he was teaching a class at the craft center at OSU. And he told me that he thought I might like it because I liked ceramics. So I gave it a shot. I took his class. It was a three-month course. And we just learned how to make little marbles and pendants and stuff like that. And I really liked it. So I kept at it. I did, I did that one class and then I did a little um, independent uh, practice with some friends that I knew who did glass. And then eventually, you know, I mentioned to my friend who um, taught at the craft center that I wanted to get into glass as a career. And he, um, you know, it was a couple months after that, he finally um, talked to a guy that he knew and got me a position just an entry-level position doing glass. So that's how I got into it. It was, a, it was kind of a word of mouth sort of thing. I'd say the technique is probably the thing that sets it apart from everything else. It's um, very, there's a really big learning curve for it. It um, takes a lot of hours to get down because you're working, you can't like clay, just work with it with your hands. You have to use tools to work with it. So I think the difficulty level of actually working with the learning to work with the medium is what sets it apart. The market that we cater to is a really high-end market. It's a lot of like uh, upper class people with col big collections, glass collections and stuff. So that market, you know, we haven't really taken a hit with the economy very much, you know, because that demographic has been affected the least, I guess. Um, I suppose maybe the production, you know, pipe blowing side of things probably is in the same same boat. I, I, I don't think either has been probably substantially affected by the economic shift. In our shop, it goes from, I'm the beginning of the process. I prep glass rounds and then I pass it on to my superior and he shapes that he sculpts them into um, you know frogs snakes what have you um, basically you take I take a glass round it's about um, a half a half inch about three quarters of an inch thick I put a um, 10 millimeter rod on the bottom of it attach it and I basically lay down different color stripes and um, sheets of dichroic glass, which is glass with um, metal in it that shimmers. And um, yeah, I fill, in, I fill in the clear with different color patterns. And then I put them in the kiln and I get paid per piece and then I pass them on to my boss and he sculpts them. So this is, the, this is what I do. And then he takes this from me and he makes it into that. It's awesome. You should try it. It's a really fun, uh, really fun medium to get into. I recommend it. Highly recommend it.